Hey, this is Dr. Tai from Premier Orthodontics, and in this video we're going to be going over a before and after patient. So this patient is a teenager. You can see from her photos that she's got pretty severe crowding. She also has a pretty good underbite. You can see with her bite that she's biting really edge to edge, and then she has what's called a posterior or lateral open bite, where the back teeth don't really touch together, except for on the very back molars. So overall, she has significant amount of crowding and a significant bite issue. So whenever we're looking at cases like this, we have to decide how are we going to correct both the crowding as well as the bite issue. If we were to try to just fit all these teeth in, you can see especially on the upper where this canine is totally blocked out, what we'd have to do is push the front teeth forward dramatically, and that's actually going to cause her to have a more severe open bite. So as those front teeth come forward, the teeth get separated even more in the front, and so that's actually going to make the bite worse in order to try to get the teeth aligned. Additionally, if we were to try to fit all these teeth in, the teeth are going to have a tendency to really start coming forward. She's going to end up having some really flared, protruded teeth. In her case, we decided to do some extractions in order to get everything to fit in, and also so that we could pull the teeth back rather than pushing them forward, which is going to help with the bite correction. All right, so we're going to show you what the extraction pattern looks like in this type of a case and how that helps. So in this short animation, you'll see which teeth we usually elect to take out in a case where they have more of an underbite as well as crowding. So you can see we have two bicuspids on the bottom, two up top. Using the braces, we can pull the teeth back into those extraction spaces. At the same time, that helps the bite come together, helps get the teeth aligned, at the same time getting the bite to look better as well. So she had two teeth taken out on the top, two on the bottom as well. She had about two years of braces. And so again, here is her starting photos. Just You can see how much crowding she had as well as the bite problems that she came in with. And here it is after treatment was completed. So you can see she has four less teeth. Two teeth were taken out on the top here and here. And then same thing on the bottom, two teeth were taken out there. By the time we're done, all the spaces are closed. No one can really tell that teeth were removed. You can see everything's nice and aligned and you can see how much better the bite is where now the teeth fit together like they should and it looks much better. All right, so here is a before and after, so you can see how much change happened. You can see we were able to bring this canine down after we made space for it. You can see the teeth and the bite came together once we were able to pull the teeth back, and everything got nice and aligned, and you can see she's got a beautiful smile and great looking teeth. Here is a view from the side. Again, looking at right here, this canine tooth didn't have room, so we had that tooth extracted there, brought that one in, two teeth as well on the bottom. And by the time we're done, everything looks good and was nice and aligned. So that is how we chose to treat this patient. I think this was the correct and proper treatment for sure. I think it would have been difficult to get a good result by keeping those teeth in. So if you have any questions about you know, crowding, extractions, about bite treatment, ask them in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.